Let's work with the qualifier Luma or the qualifier brightness. The qualifier Luma is exactly like the HSL with hue, saturation, luminance, but hue and saturation are put off. And it isolates colors according to their luminance or their brightness. And this is very useful for these kind of videos where you have lots of contrast between the background and the foreground. So let's start here. I will take the picker and pick a certain color. Here you are, something like this. Then go to the mat itself. I don't even go here. It's okay, I can go directly to the black and white. And the mat is looking good, except his eyes maybe. Let's try low soft, increasing it. Okay, no, we are picking more of the eyes. I'm gonna take it down just a bit. Okay, just a bit. And then try the low soft. Not bad at all. Then we're gonna come to matte finesse and clean the black. Here you are. I'm trying to remove whatever is inside these eyes. Now let's clean the whites as much as possible. Fine, let's try with this matte and we see exactly if we get a good result. I'll go out from the highlights and I'm gonna use the gain to add some yellow. Here you are. Well, it's working very fine. Notice it's pretty cool because we're getting white, black, and yellow over here. I'm gonna increase it a bit. Increase a bit on the lift or the shadows, or even red if you like to. Okay, yeah, that's giving him this dirty look or this very mean look. I think here we went too far, let's put it back. We changed his colors, but he still look very natural. This is before and this is after. Now he's a yellow beast instead of a white bird. Here you are. If you play the video, yes, not bad at all. Well, the point here was to show you how the Luma will work, how you can work with contrast, in fact, with brightness. And this is a very good example. Of course, there are other things here you can do. The way you will qualify the colors or isolate the colors, you can have different results. Now, I worked on the whites. How about if you work on the blacks or try the shadows? Instead of selecting the whites like I've done here, you will select the blacks here. See exactly what's going to happen and how you can work with it. Thank you very much for listening. This was very easy about the luminance or the brightness, but please keep it in mind because sometimes it's extremely useful.